Hey, what's up guys? This is uh, Fairway Finder and I'm bringing to you today a unboxing of some sort. It's actually more kind of like an unbagging. Um, so I went to Field and Stream uh, a few days ago and they're running a crazy sale. So I decided to pick up some lures and I probably almost got almost all of them half off which is pretty cool. So I'll go through a few of them. Um, first thing I'm going to start with is tackle storage. Now I actually got four of these boxes. And they are the Flambeau Tough Tainers. This is the 3700 series size. It's actually the WP5005. And they're really nice. You can see they have the three clasps. They also have this o-ring inside and the dividers are what's called zero rust. They actually take some of the moisture that's in the actual container out. So let's say you put a bait in there and it's still wet, it'll get that moisture out, it'll absorb the moisture and then that way you won't have to worry about your baits getting rusty. Now I'm going to do some reviews on this after I spend some time with them. I really like them so far. I mean, they're almost indestructible. So I'll let you guys know. I'm not going to go in too in depth with them at the moment. Okay. All right. Next up are some lures. Okay. The first one is the Strike King Rage Swimmer. This is pretty much a copy of the Kytec Impact Fat, except for they have them in a little bit smaller sizes. So more like the regular Kytec Impact. And I really like these. I have them in, I believe it's bluegill. No, sorry guys. It's like uh, green pumpkin. I have them. This is, I'm not quite sure what. You guys can, you guys can see that right there. That's the color. Purple, blue, something. Pearl, maybe. It's actually a pretty nice color. Um, I could probably put this on the back end of a black and blue chatterbait if I really want to, or even the white a white chatterbait. So there's a couple different purposes for this. It has a hook slot on both the top and the bottom, so it can definitely help you guide the hook into so where it's straight up and down. So, like these quite a bit. I use a uh, 4 aught swim bait hook, and I believe it's a um, quarter ounce, I believe, for this whenever I'm just fishing them normal. If you bought four Strike King baits, you got the, or no, sorry, three Strike King baits, you get the next one free. So I got a bunch of soft plastics for... Um, for jigs and chatterbaits. I have um, Strike King's Rage Chunk. That is in the Green Pumpkin. It's a I really like these packages. Um, they keep the baits really nice and thin. So you can really kind of, you can really stuff them um, into your bait binder or tackle box. Let's see. That's it. And again, like I said, this is the green pumpkin. Now this is really good on the end of a jig. You're not going to really be using this for punching. It's too short. Um, but definitely very good for a jig trailer. Maybe even a chatterbait tra trailer. I think it's probably a little bit small for that. But if you need a smaller presentation, that'll work out well. And, you know, this will definitely kick around a lot in the water. Slow down the jig whenever it's falling. Um, but also give a little bit of better presentation um, for like a swim jig. All right, the next one I got is the Rage Tail Rage Denny Crawl, which is a black and blue flake. Now this is more of a soft plastic that you could use for punching, but I'm going to use this a lot on chatterbaits 
and jigs as well. You can see that's uh, that nice black and blue with that blue flake. And that will definitely move around a lot. And that will definitely give a good presentation. So that is good as well. And then I got the KVD Perfect Plastics. This is the Rodent Watermelon Red Flake. You see right there is the label. And a lot of you guys know about the Rodent. This is a really nice um, punch and bait. Um, pretty much anything. You can use this for um, definitely Texas rig. But you can put it on the back end of a jig, a chatter bait. Probably going to use this mainly for the back end of a jig. But then also save it for um, punching. Stuff like that. Now with this flat. You see how flat that is. It's really good for skipping, skipping jigs. So what I'd probably do is cut it off or bite it off about right here. And then that way you have a smaller presentation. All right, so those are the soft plastics from Strike King that I got. Okay, so I got one of these uh, Yozuri poppers. Not quite sure how to pronounce that. Um, now I don't have I have a couple poppers, but almost all my poppers are like really light, and I can't really throw them with a bait caster. You know, not that I only fish with a bait caster, but <coughs> excuse me, it'd be nice to be able to toss one out there, almost as far as like a spook. See that right there? This is three quarters ounce. Is there 9 mil 90 millimeter size? Now this one has their color change awesomeness. And I'm not quite sure the actual color of this. I'm going to guess it's some ghost shad of some sort. Nope, not on there. I don't know. You guys can see that. Maybe a ghost bone. I don't even know. Just clear one, probably. Um, so, really like the idea of this. You can see that mouth on there is huge. So, there's the one. And then I have a Lucky Craft, which this is actually my first Lucky Craft. I've heard a lot about them, um, and I've wanted to get one for a while. This is their. Flat CBDR. And it's a floating crankbait, two and a half inches long, half ounce, and it dives six to nine feet. Um, I fish a lot of kind of deeper water lakes, and I don't have any of really these mid depths. I have like six foot. But nothing really that goes down to 10. I have a couple that go the whole way down to 20. But these ones that um, go just like a 6 to 9 is really cool. Now this does have a ball bearing. You can see right there in the center. And it, it really moves quite a bit. And that should help out quite a bit with casting. Um, and also whenever you're reeling it in, that's going to stay down there. And it's going to um, have that bait stay at that point and I also got a live target copper's frog never had one of these as well and I've heard a lot of good things about them and you guys know I love frog fishing let's see All right here's the frog now this is a regular size I believe it's the two and five a or Three quarter ounce. The color is yellow, just yellow blue. Now they didn't have any other colors in this. I was really hoping just to get like a black. I'm sorry, I just shook the camera real bad. Um, I was really hoping to get a black or kind of a darker color, as I don't really have a frog in that color. But this is the only color they had, and I couldn't really pass it up because with these three lures. 
whenever I got three or more, they're five bucks a piece. And almost all of them are normally 10 bucks. All right. Um, they had a good deal on these, but I had to buy 10 or more and I didn't want to. This was $2.99. It is a Chunk Crawl by Yum. I just got a jig the other day that has a nice orange bottom to it. And I was thinking that this would probably work real good. Might be a little too small, but uh, I wanted to try it out. This is <clears throat> their crawdad color. But I could definitely, I could pro I could use this by itself if I wanted to. Um, for Texas rig, it's a little small, but you know, anytime those fish are a little finicky, I might be able, to, might be able to use that. All right, um, the next deal that I got was whenever you buy a chatterbait, you get the next one half off. I like, I'll go for that. I like chatterbaits. Chatterbaits work really well for me. This is one of them. It is in the Houdini color and it is the half ounce. Now this is the Chatterbait, the Project Z series, the Z-Man. Um, I have had just the regular Chatterbait, Chatterbaits and these ones are definitely a little bit better um, quality wise. They have a nicer actual tie on and the jig head is phenomenally better. My goodness, look at that good looking jig or bladed swim jig I guess I should say it is black and blue it's also the half ounce you see that color that one that color is pretty nice um, this is one of the reasons why I got a black and blue actual trailer so these will be uh, nice there I should have been almost what 14 15 bucks for two of them turned out to be you know 10 bucks so that was a good savings and then, of course, um, I got a new Shadow Wrap Shad Deep. This is probably going to work really well up in New York where we go um, quite often. And this is in the bone color. Now, um, if you guys have read anything about these Shadow Wraps, the regular Shadow Wraps, they actually sink a little bit on the paws, just like this. These Shads actually float up. Very slowly, just like that. And like I said, this is in the bone color, so it's going to imitate a lot of different kinds of fish. Shad, shiners, anything like that. So, and this one dives to, as I ripped it up, five to six feet, and it's a three eighths of an ounce. So that should cast pretty well. Um, I've used these, and they do cast surprisingly pretty well for their weight so but that is what I picked up all at um, field and stream and that's gonna have to suffice for now um, so a lot of different baits a lot of a lot of soft plastics to kind of get my um, stock up and I actually want to show you guys this really cool lure it's by six cents I know this is just a package I got the lure don't worry this is the Movement 80 Wake. It's a 5 eighths of an ounce. And is, I think it's right around like 8 bucks. Something like that. Let's see, I got that. Right there. This is in the copper green color. Let me get that off. Um, now this is just a wake bait. It goes zero to one feet and I was using it the other day on 12 pound fluorocarbon and um, I was consistently being able to keep it up on the top of the water. I really like this bait. Um, it has a nice ball bearing in the back that helps improve casting and the quality is phenomenal. So I think I'm going to get some more six cents lures. I got that one from um, Tackle Warehouse with uh, another order that I had. And um, so stay tuned. Maybe I'll have just a strictly six cents crankbait lore unboxing video. I'm pretty excited for that.
All right. So uh, thank you for um, watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like button and subscribe. All right, guys. Thank you.